Welcome back kids once again. Now we saw that two ladies were fighting with each other for the shawl and they went into some physical violence. Now let's see, to Chernu, this maid says, let's see what she says to him. And she says, come here you boy. What's your name? And she asks for his name and he says, Chernu Fateh Singh. He says that. And now she adds, did you see her push me down? You are a witness. Remember how she pushed me down. All right, kids. Now he says, uh, uh, yes. Now she says that you are going to be my witness. He hesitates and he just says, yes, and says, I will. Yes, I will. Queen Tara's maid asked Chernu whether he witnessed the incident of the other maid pushing her down. Did he see that? And then second maid gets up and pulls the shawl. They fight again. Mm, you can see that image. <laughs> That's funny. But they fight. The second maid pulls the first one hair. I won't leave you. I won't spare you. And they're fighting, kids. They're fighting now. Here she says, the other one. Why you? She says to Chernu. Why you? Did you see how hard she pulled at my hair? Look your boy, you were a witness to that. An eyewitness. Remember this woman's uncouth behavior, Chernu Fateh Singh? Now she says to Chernu that you are going to be my witness. And she throws away the shawl. Both maids leave in huff. <laughs> Anger, right, huff. He smiles proudly and says, I have kept the promise my father gave to the wisdom seller. I stood witness to the quarrel between the queen's maids, but I did not participate. Right. Now, kids, Queen Rupa's maid asked Chernu whether he witnessed the incident of the other maid pulling her hair. But Chernu remembers the promise he made to his father that he will just witness the quarrel and not be a part of it. And he's very proud about it. So here now, scene three, the king's palace. What happens there? The maid goes to Queen Rupa. Now Queen Rupa enters, followed by the first maid. And now they talk. She says, Your Highness, Queen Stara's maid chose the same shawl that I had chosen for you. It was gorgeous. You would have looked even more beautiful. And now she adds, Really? Why didn't you insist on buying it? The Queen says, Why didn't you insist? I did, but the maid was rude and grabbed it from my hands and even pulled my hair. She's complaining, kids. Queen Rupa's maid narrates the entire incident that took place in the bazaar to Queen Rupa. Now she listens to everything and she says, We shall complain to the king. Was there any witness? What is a witness, kids? A person who sees an event or is a proof of the event taking place okay so if you see something an event you are a witness to it okay you see two kids fighting and you look at them you are a witness that something went wrong there exactly now yes a boy called Chernu Fateh Singh we do have a witness Chernu Fateh Singh now Queen Rupa gets angry over the entire incident and wants to complain about it to the king she asks her maid who witnessed the scene. The maid names Chernu Fateh Singh as the witness. The queen says, send for the boy and tell him that if he doesn't speak in our favor, he shall be sent to the gallows. Okay, gallows, a structure for hanging criminals. Hanging, right. So he will be killed. That is what she says. She says, yes, your highness. She agrees to that. Both exit. Enter Queen Taro followed by the second maid. Now both of them exit and now Queen Taro enters along with her maid. Now Queen Rupa asks the maid to call the boy and threaten him to talk in their favor or he will be hanged to death. And now they leave. Now the other Queen Taro enters along with her maid. So let us see what they are going to communicate about that. I'll be back with you kids with some more information about the story. Let's see you in the next module. Okay?